What's your first instinct when facing a problem? If you're like most people, your first thought is to run or avoid it at all costs. And while that's a natural response, it's not always the best. Dealing with problems makes you a stronger version of yourself. This video offers 7 steps you can take to stop running from problems and better face and work through stressful situations. But first, let's look at why people ignore problems in the first place. When facing difficulty, your instincts kick in, and you instinctually want to protect yourself. We all have the fight or flight instinct built into us. Along with fear, when a problem arises, you may also feel stress and anxiety. Moreover, feelings of hopelessness, despair, or confusion may lurk in the back of your brain, too. While you may want to protect yourself from these feelings by distancing yourself from the situation, it can be harmful. Now let's review how to stop running away from your difficult problems. 1. Stop and think. Stop and think about the situation instead of reacting and possibly overreacting. In other words, don't give in to the fight or flight instinct. Think about what's going on. While you're thinking, figure out the reason you're in the situation you're in. It is also important to underline what's happening in the sequence of events that led you to your current situation. It is also important to understand how you feel about the situation. In short, taking time to reflect on what's happening around you, how you got to that place, and how you feel about what's happening will allow you to think more clearly about the situation. Also, it helps to lower the amount of stress you feel, which decreases the fight or flight response. Then, you're more physically and mentally prepared to deal with your problem. So, take a deep breath, calm down, and reflect the next time you are in a stressful situation. 2. Recognize that escape is a short-term fix. Escaping a problem may look like a solution, but the problem will catch up to you. Also, avoidance may make the problem bigger. For example, ignoring the debt collectors won't provide a solution if you struggle with a large amount of debt. Actually, it's avoiding the inevitable. Plus, interest and late fees will probably make your debt bigger. In reality, escape isn't a solution. It's avoiding a solution. To stop running away from problems, you need to recognize your avoidance behavior. Avoidance behaviors are things you do to escape from your problem. Avoidance behaviors can include using alcohol or drugs, overindulging in hobbies like TV watching, gaming, or social media use, excessive sleeping, and stress eating. As you can see from these examples, escapism creates more problems than solutions because they affect you physically, mentally, and socially. The sooner you recognize this, the sooner you can address your problem. 3. Embrace the negative. Negative feelings are going to happen. It's a part of life. Avoiding negative feelings only prolongs the inevitable. Remember, living beings grow, and growth hurts. But you can either grow from your experiences or allow them to set you back. By recognizing negative feelings as they happen and processing them, you grow from the experience. As a result, you become a better version of yourself. You will have created positive change in your life. To stop running, you're going to have to change. Change takes work, but it's worth the effort. Not only will you have handled and removed a problem, but you will also have learned better coping skills. Moving forward, you'll have a new skill set you can use on the next problem. 4. Find a solution. Before you can act, you need an action plan. You need to research what you need to do to fix your problem. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Find out how others face the same situation and learn from them. Then, make a plan that works for you based on what you've learned. Break up your plan into smaller chunks. One of the reasons you want to run away is because your problem seems so massive. By breaking your plan into smaller steps, you're not facing a mountain. Instead, you're tackling a molehill. Be sure to set goals for yourself. Setting a goal helps you stay focused on the solution, instead of the problem. Plus, you can celebrate small wins to encourage you to keep working at it. 5. Use support. Solving a problem alone only reinforces the temptation to run. You don't have to feel like you're alone against the world. Others are available to help you if you know where to look. It's tempting to stay quiet about your problems. Feelings of guilt or shame will make you not want to seek help. So, it's important to remember that problems are universal. Everyone struggles at some point in life. You're not alone. If you feel like you can't trust someone close to you, there are people online willing to listen. 
Find someone you can trust. Talk to someone who has been through what you're going through. Maybe they have some sound advice to give you. Or, they can just listen and encourage. 6. Remove negative influences. To implement a solution, you must control who you allow to speak into your life. As stated earlier, you need positive reinforcement from others. Unfortunately, you might have some negative voices surrounding you. There might be people in your life that aren't good for you. These people may be leading you in the wrong direction. Additionally, they may encourage you to run. To stay and fight, you need to remove these negative influences. If someone says things that negatively influence you, they're not a friend. Sometimes, fixing a problem means removing negative influences from your life. As you become more positive, you will outgrow negative people in your life. As a result, you will grow apart from these types of people. 7. Stick to the plan. Amid your struggle, you may be tempted to give up but don't. Stick to the plan and increase your efforts and your support from others. When feeling discouraged, lean in even more on your support network. Schedule a cheering session. Let them remind you of the progress they see. Sometimes, you need to see your situation from a different perspective. Also, take time to pause and refocus. It's not running away. It's preparing yourself mentally to increase your efforts. When you're inclined to quit, do the opposite. Increase your efforts. Remind yourself of why you are working so hard. It's a process, and it's going to take time. Be patient and follow your plan. Taking these steps will ensure that you stay consistent in your efforts toward your goal of solving your problem. Final thoughts on running away from your problems. Whenever you're tempted to run away, work through this list step by step. Remember, avoidance isn't a solution. It's delaying a solution. Facing your problem head-on will increase your self-confidence as you grow into a more positive person. It takes time and effort to stop running away from problems, but you'll get there. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.